will continue practicing integration by substitution, or as I prefer to call it, the inverse chain rule. And we started out with in-your-face integration by reverse chain rule problems, where the expression that you're presented with pretty much matches the pattern that the chain rule leaves in its wake. So what we're going to do today is to practice problems that are one step removed from that. So our first integral requires a little bit of ingenuity. And I would submit that you rarely do it in math classes. How about, in the denominator, divide by cosine of x to produce tangent, and multiply by cosine of x to make up for it. Because now we have 1 over tangent, and what's the derivative of tangent? 1 over cosine squared. So we have everything we need to apply the chain rule in reverse in in-your-face fashion. We have 1 over something times the derivative of something. So you should see this at. So the result is, well, it's just the derivative of 1 over something. So it's log of that something. So one step, you do one algebraic manipulation, and then it becomes obvious.